very good morning students today we are going to discuss the system of excretion you know all that excretion is a removal of metabolic waste and excess metabolic from the body means whenever the food is digested the waste material is collected in the body and basically the waste material is nitrogenous waste so excretion is different from ejection ejection is a removal of undigested weight from the alimentary canal which is different from metabolic waste unicellular organism can remove waste by diffusion across their cell membrane but complex organism like animals they require excretory organs for this for example human being so main excretory organ in humans are skin lungs and kidneys so don't compare excretion with digestion that both are different from one another if you talk about the excretory organs of human body then the skin is an excretory organ of human body which secrete urea excess water and salt in the form of sweat then lungs are there which secrete carbon dioxide excess water in expired air and uh, liver is there bile pigments in the feces via the intestine and kidney urea excess water excess salts in the urine are excreted out by these excretory organs so let's see further carbon dioxide is also one of the excretory product uh, which is a waste product of respiration high level of it lower the ph level of the blood resulting in adverse effect on the chemical reaction in cells and urea is product produced by the liver as a result of deamination and its removal is carried out by kidneys bile pigment comes from the breakdown of hemoglobin and liver excretes bile so these all are the waste products excretory products right so excess water and salt will also be excreted out with the help of the kidney so urinary system in case of mammals it consists of two kidneys each found in each side of the vertebral column pair of ureters bladder and urethra in human the kidneys are embedded in a thick cushion of fat slightly above waistline for protection left kidney is slightly higher than the right kidney kidney blood from renal artery return receive blood from the renal artery and return filtered blood to the circulation through renal vein if i show you the diagram here you can see here the renal artery and renal vein so renal artery the function of the renal artery that it will receive blood from the renal artery means renal artery is a way by which the blood will go to kidney and return the filtered blood from the kidney will come by the renal vein this is renal vein okay so the functional unit of kidney is you know all nephron but before that you should know the function of renal artery and vein waste and water leave the kidney by ureters and is stored in the bladder as a urine if you look at here this is ureter the waste water will pass through it right and will be stored in the bladder after this as they accumulate sense receptors in the bladder are stimulated signals are sent to brain to give the sensation to urge to urinate urine is released from the bladder through the urethra when sphincter muscle is relaxed urine is released from the bladder through the urethra when the sphincter muscle is relaxed so let's see each kidney has solid outer cortex and inner medulla just look at it this is solid cortex and inner medullar region is there after this functional unit of kidney is nephron if you look at it this is nephron these are the nephrons i will discuss the structure of each nephron individually the nephron is responsible for carrying out waste removal and osmoregulation process this is very important the working unit of kidney is nephron the functional unit of kidney is nephron 
so you can see here the diagram of individual kidney as already i explained you the renal artery which will bring the blood from all the body organs towards the kidney and renal vein will collect the filtered blood from the kidney then there is ureter which will uh, be the passage for passing the excess water that water will go to the bladder then there is the cortex region and medullary region then uh, the nephrons are present million of nephrons are there in the kidney so this is the diagram of the uh, nephron each nephron inside the kidney if you look at it so this is very very important diagram and uh, in this diagram you can see firstly uh, it is divided into two parts you can see here renal cortex and renal medulla so when you talk about renal cortex we will start from this bowman bowman's capsule okay so nephrons are excretory or functional unit of the kidney each nephron is formed of two parts bowman's capsule so when you talk about this bowman's capsule it is double walled this is double walled and cup this is double walled and cup shaped present in the renal cortex region and it is lined by a thin semi permeable membrane it it has a lining of thin semi permeable membrane in the cavity of the bowman's capsule if i show you here this is bowman's capsule and uh, this is the cavity of the bowman's capsule right there is a group of blood capillaries you can see here these are the blood capillaries and uh, these are called as glomerulus if you look at here this is uh, labeled as glomerulus and uh, formed by the division of the renal artery renal artery will be divided then bowman's capsule and glomerulus are collectively called malpighian tubule you can see here uh, there is bowman's capsule this is bowman's capsule and uh, this is inside it blood vessels glomerulus and these both together will be termed as malpighian tubules and uh, or renal corpuscles okay this is uh, labeled here renal corpuscle glomerulus act as an ultra filter very very important it's a ultra filter this is ultra filter and uh, it is the site of filtration under pressure Uh, called ultra filtration in this large amount of water along with certain useful compounds and certain harmful waste filtered out into the bowman's capsule so there the filtration will occur the filtrate so formed is called glomerular filtrate in normal adult person if you talk rate of filtration called gfr it is termed as gfr and it is long uh, this glomerulus is long and uh, it is formed up of three parts so let's see uh, which uh, three parts are there for nephric tubule coming back to the nephrons diagram proximal convoluted tubule is there this is pct it is also termed as pct that is proximal convoluted tubule it is a part of the nephron lies in the renal cortex you can see here yes it lies this part this part lies in the renal cortex region and it is a main site of selective reabsorption please note down in pct there will be reabsorption right it is a main site of selective reabsorption for what selective reabsorption will be of sodium you can see here sodium calcium glucose right and amino acids from the nephric filtrate will be filtered here will be reabsorbed here this is very important and then if you see uh, this is loop of henle this one is loop of henle it is found in the renal medulla formed up of two limbs uh, one is ascending and another is descending uh, thin walled descending limb is there this one and after that thick walled ascending limb is there this one okay so descending limb is permeable to water this one is permeable to water means water can pass through it and uh, another this is permeable to water but impermeable to minerals 
like sodium chloride means sodium chloride cannot dissolve in it but water can easily but ascending limb this one it is impermeable to water but permeable to sodium chloride and if you talk about dct here there is dct when you talk about dct it is convoluted part lies in the renal cortex it opens in the collecting tubule you can see here this is dct right lies in the renal cortex it will open in the collecting tubule it is opening here in the collecting tubule most of the water from the nephric filtrate is reabsorbed here means yahan pe sabse zyada pani ki absorption hoti hai and uh, it will go to the collecting tubule so this is very important this is a diagram of the nephron fine uh, where you will divide it into two main part renal cortex renal medulla further you will say about bowman capsule proximal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct so how the urine will be formed it is produced by two main processes within the nephron ultra filtration which will occur at the glomerulus filter out all small molecules from the blood selective reabsorption will occur at the kidney tubule especially as pct proximal convoluted tubule useful molecule from kidney tubule back into the blood then after that you will see selective reabsorption the kidney reabsorb useful substances from glomerulus filtrate into the blood at pct all glucose amino acid some salt diffuse into pct they are actively transported into uh, the fluid in between the cell and blood as the filtrate become more dilute water also leave the tubule by osmosis so at loop of henle uh, the fluid is further concentrated by transportation of salt out of the filtrate setting up a greater concentration gradient at the base of loop the fluid reaches a distal dct where excess substances such as hydrogen potassium and drugs are secreted fluid flow through the collecting duct and passes the region where the concentration gradient was set up so collecting duct reabsorb water from the fluid and help to regulate blood water concentration this is what happening in nephron so this is this is regarding the kidney the excretory system and how the urine formation will occur so i hope you all understand about that what is excretion what is the diagram of uh, excretory system and uh, you can easily explain what is present in the kidney that is nephron and you can easily explain the diagram for nephron and urine formation at last thank you so much